This program of just the North Carolina Symphony Strings is a little bit of an excuse to be self-indulgent. Pretty much every Saturday morning from the age of 11 to 18, I spent playing in a string orchestra at school. And perhaps the first ever piece on the repertoire with that orchestra was the Grieg Holberg Suite. Shortly followed by the Tchaikovsky Serenade for Strings, you know, I immediately go to the cello part and I remember struggling with you know, the very opening of it has this fantastic yum dig dum 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 dig which the accompanying strings, including the cellos, have to master. For all the technical challenges, the music shines through. Holberg was a much loved and admired Norwegian playwright of the early 18th century. And so Grieg went back to his time to recreate a number of dance forms. It's a glorious bonanza of fabulous melodies couched in the form of dances from the period. The Tchaikovsky Serenade for Strings. This is a piece that every string player just loves to get their teeth into. Like the Holberg Suite, it is technically challenging. And there are certain passages which will forever be difficult. There are also many corners that are very difficult to turn musically, artistically, and make it feel natural and organic. I mean, the music should sort of play itself, except that it's so bloody difficult that you just have to apply yourself to every note. I've been in the trenches um, and played it many times myself, but now from a conductor's privileged viewpoint, if you want, I don't have to struggle with that. For me, coming back to this piece, I find that each time I have to try and be more courageous and not interfere. I mean, the music is utterly organic. Tchaikovsky couldn't help but write fabulous melodies. It's Tchaikovsky at his melodious best. Mm -hmm. 